Hey, my name is Daniel, and I'm gonna show you how you can mirror what's on your MacBook, Apple computer to your Hisense TV. And we're gonna do this using an app called MirrorMeister. What's nice about MirrorMeister is that you won't require any extra hardware or cables. It works through your Wi-Fi connection. And it works on any Hisense TV made in 2014 or newer. Now Hisense works with multiple operating systems. We have Roku, Android, and Vita. In this case, I'm gonna demonstrate how it works with a Vita system. But the process is generally pretty similar and just as straightforward. We're gonna go through the process of connecting the MacBook computer and your Hisense TV to the same wireless network. Then, we're gonna open up the MirrorMeister app on your computer and download the audio drivers. This is pretty easy, and it makes sure that sound is coming through your TV. And finally, we're gonna watch a video with sound. Let's check it out. The first step is to make sure the computer is connected to the right wireless network. So I'm gonna take my mouse and I'm gonna go here and click on my Wi-Fi symbol. And I can see we're connected to Meister Apps Max Stream. Great. This is the best Wi-Fi network out there and the one I wanna be connected to. So we got that going for us. Now, we're gonna make sure the TV is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So we turn on the TV, I'm gonna hit the menu button and I'm gonna go down to settings, I'm gonna go to network and I'm gonna click network information. And I can see it's connected to Meister Apps Max Stream. It's the same network as a laptop. So we're good here. So it's time to open up the Mirror Meister app on the MacBook. So I'm gonna go right here to my spotlights and I'm gonna type in Mirror Meister, hit enter. Now I wanna select my TV. So we have here the Hisense Smart TV. I'm gonna click that. And then there's a little thing here that says, learn how to play sound on TV. Now if we click this, it's gonna take me through step-by-step step how to download the audio drivers. So here I'm on the website, I'm gonna click download audio driver. I'm gonna open up my downloaded file, mirrormeisteraudiodriver.pkg, and follow the instructions, and there we go. The drivers are installed, it was that easy. Now that the drivers are installed, I have to make sure that I click enable sound on TV. That way, sound will come out of the television. Now that we've done that, I can hit start mirroring. So the computer is connecting its image to the TV. So everything I see right here on the computer, I'm seeing on the television. So let's check out a film on YouTube. So this movie right here was released in 1963, but they forgot to copyright it. So that means we can watch it right now. If I hit play here, it's gonna start playing on the TV. Well, I mean, if I can do it, what are the Russians doing to him? And I can adjust the volume directly from the television. But. Hello? If I turn off, enable sound on TV. Hello? Anything wrong, Miss Tompkins? Uh, Miss Tompkins isn't here. And if I re-enable it, it goes directly to the television. Hello? And if I full screen it, it's gonna full screen on the television as well. Uh, you are... Uh... Mrs. Lambert, Mrs. Charles And Lambert. that's how we mirror what's on our MacBook computers using MirrorMeister to our Hisense TV. Now MirrorMeister also works on your iOS devices like your iPhone or your iPad. And we support more than just the Hisense TV. So go to the website, check out our full list of TVs, and check out the app and enjoy mirroring what's on your screens to your other screen.